Luke 5, 17. When you have it, say amen. 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 I come out to be blessed today. Man, I, I had an earlier service this morning. And I had some visitors, but I knew that we had to get here. Amen. And it reads, And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law, setting by which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judah and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal. And he beheld men brought in at a bed, in a bed, and man which was taken with a palsy. And he sought means to bring him in to lay him before him. And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude, they went upon the housetop and let him down through the top with his couch into the midst before Jesus. And when he saw their faith, he said unto him, Man, thy sins are forgiven thee. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this which speaketh blasphemy, who can forgive sins but God alone? But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answered and said unto them, What reason in your hearts, whether it's easier to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Rise, rise up and walk, but that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. Amen. He said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy couch, and go thy way. Amen. I'm asking uh, the elder Mary brother, please bless him. Amen. Say pray. Amen. Lord God, thank you for your God. this morning. If you will send your word to him, call him worthy of the purpose of your glory. Anoint him by your mighty power. Yes. Grant him words of wisdom, plainness of speech, that your, your word go forth to heal, to save, and to deliver. Yes. We are always to come to you right now because we ask these things in Jesus' name. And everybody say amen. 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 Today we just want to talk about whatever it takes to get your deliverance. Don't let Jesus pass you by. Yeah, all right. Whatever it takes to get your deliverance, don't let Jesus pass you by. We see here that there was a man, a man that had the palsies, and we know that the palsies, a man is a muscle condition. A man, he had a muscle condition where that he could not lead himself around. He could not walk. Obviously, he could not stand on his own. Uh, but he was looking, amen, for some way to get to Jesus. A couple of his friends, I would say, realized that Jesus, amen, was in town and he was preaching. He was holding a healing service. Can the church say amen? Amen. amen? amen. They don't hold many healing services anymore. Yes. Amen, somebody. Amen. amen. But they found out that Jesus was here in town and that he was healed. The Bible said, amen, that they tried to go in through the front door, but the door was too crowded. They could not get in. Obviously, I, I guarantee they went to the window, but the place was packed. Yeah. Uh, but they thought within themselves, there is one other thing to do. Right, Let's take it to the roof. Amen. Right, and as they began to take the man to the roof, amen. Amen. They began, amen, to rip the tile of the roof off to get to Jesus. That's right. Sometimes you got to do what it takes in order to get to Jesus. Amen. Sometimes you have to be desperate, amen, to get your deliverance. Can the church say amen? Amen. amen. Sometimes you have to be desperate to get delivered. As they began to take the roof off, amen, of the building, amen, they lowered the man down before Jesus. If Jesus began to look 
to see how, what measures, and what a stream, amen, that they went through, amen, in order for the man to get his healing, amen. Jesus began to sell the man, thy sins are forgiven thee. Yeah. Amen. And sometimes we must realize, amen, that the enemy wants to stop us, amen, from getting to Jesus. Yeah. We should not let our condition, amen, stop us from getting to Jesus. Oh, yeah. I'm reminded, amen, of what Evangelist Merriweather said just, amen, a few minutes ago. She said, even in my praying, I'm going to give God a praise. All right. Even in my pain, I am going to give God a praise. Can the church say amen? amen. Can the church say amen again? Amen. amen. We're going to get there in a minute. We're going to get there in a minute. Uh, but the word lets us to know, amen, sometimes you have to go through extreme measures in order to get your deliverance. How far would you go to be delivered? Amen. How far would you come, amen, in order to be delivered? Say amen, amen. Uh, uh, you must realize that wherever Jesus is, uh, there is deliverance. Uh, can the church say amen on this morning? Uh, uh, can you say amen again? Amen, amen. Uh, I come out here this morning to get my deliverance. Uh, uh, because the Bible lets me to know that God sent his word uh, and healed them. Amen, somebody. Uh, uh, there's healing, amen, in the name of Jesus. Uh, there are deliverance in the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, as I begin, amen, to look at this story, amen. Uh, I see myself here, amen. Uh, I see how, amen, uh, uh, that sometimes, amen, uh, you have to depend on somebody else uh, that help you to get to Jesus. Uh, and sometimes you have to depend on somebody I uh, uh, help you to get a word through. Uh, amen, somebody, amen. Uh, the name we talking about, uh, amen, the power of God. Uh, anybody here today uh, want to be delivered, amen. Uh, whatever it takes, brothers and sisters, uh, you got to get your deliverance. Uh, don't ever come to the house of God, uh, our Lord, without expecting uh, to be delivered. Uh, don't ever come in and go out the same way that you came in. Huh? Because we do not serve an ordinary God. Huh? We serve an extraordinary God. Huh? All the Bible said that he is able to do exceedingly abundantly huh? above all that what you can even ask or think. Huh? Whatever your mind can conceive God is able huh? to do that and some more. Huh? Can I get a witness on today? Huh? And whatever it takes honey, you got to get your deliverance. Ha. Good God Almighty. Ha. Paul said that I press ha, against the mark of the pride of the high calling, ha, which is in Christ Jesus. Ha. Don't just think that the devil is going to allow you to be healed. Ha. Don't just think that the devil is going to allow you ha, to be delivered. Ha. Because I heard the word of God say, ha, for we wrestle not against fence and blood, ha, but against principalities huh, against spiritual wickedness huh, in high places. Huh. Good God Almighty. Huh. We're not fighting against an ordinary man or an ordinary woman, huh, but we're fighting against a real demon huh, that is trying to stop you huh, from getting delivered. Huh. Can the church say man? Huh. Good God Almighty. Huh. Lord have mercy. Huh. We're fighting against a real demon. Huh. They don't want the word of God ha, to go for them. Ha. Good God Almighty. Ha. But I heard ha, the word of God say, ha, there is no weapon that is formed against me ha, that shall prosper. Ha. Come on and see it. Ha. Can't no devil ha, in hell ha, stop me ha, from delivering ha, the word of God. Ha. Can no demon ha, in hell ha, stop the healing ha, power of God. Ha. Good God Almighty. Ha. Cause Jesus said ha, that I come that you might have life ha, and eat more abundantly. Ha. Tell the devil ha, to get up off you. Amen. The same way ha, that I came in. 
Come on and see it. Yeah. I'm not leaving yeah. the same way that I came in. The devil is trying to fight this morning. But that's all right. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. He just doing his job. He's being the devil. And which he is. Good God Almighty. But I heard Jesus say that I know where Satan's seat is. Good God Almighty. I'm here today. Oh Lord. On an assignment from the Lord Jesus. I'm bringing the word of God. Good God Almighty. Because man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. If you won't hear the today, you better learn how to hear the word. If you won't deliver the day, you better get your praise on. If you want healing and deliverance, you got to have an expectation. Good God, I heard the word of God say that the devil is going to and fro, up and down, through the land, seeking home. He made a vow. Honey, you might not know it, but the devil is looking to kill you. Good God Almighty. Don't let the devil kill you. Good God Almighty. But stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Come on, here, y'all. Give God a praise. Magnify the Lord. Don't go out the same way that you came in. Good God Almighty. That you came here, I came to get my deliverance. And even though I'm up here preaching, I still need deliverance. Good God Almighty, good God Almighty. Because remember what Jesus, he told Peter, he said, Simon Peter, the same desire to sit you as we but I pray for you that your faith fell in my heart. Good God Almighty. Oh Lord, every now and then you get a little weak. And sometimes you feel like throwing in the towel. Good God Almighty. But the towel is not mine. You throw me in. And I'm not my own. I belong to the Lord. And after a while, God can show up. And I heard the Bible said that he that will come, he shall come. And he shall not tell. God is not going to tell you. Good God, my dear. But he's coming with a reward to give unto every man. Evangelist Byron, I gotta get my deliverance. Good God Almighty, because Jesus might not come by this way no more. Y'all remember the man at the pool of Salon. He was there for 38 long years. Brother Rose, he said, every time I go to step in, somebody. Step in before me, good God Almighty. Every time I make a move, somebody step in before me, good God Almighty. But Jesus, 
for the acts of sin. We serve a God today that sits high and look low. We serve a God today that is able to meet every need. We serve a God that is able to defeat breast cancer. That in the name of Jesus, let me be shall bow. Plus cancer has got to bow to the name of Jesus. Cancer has got to bow to the name of Jesus. AIDS has got to bow to the name of Jesus. There is no other name. Church. 
when I just think about all the things that he's done, God is just so worthy. He is just so worthy. Good God, my angel is so worthy. He is just so worthy. He is worthy. Even when we ain't got the right attitude, he's worthy. When we don't even treat him right, he's still worthy. God bless you.